Hello everybody, this is Janice, and today I am going to be sharing a card with you that I'm making. I'm making two of these cards, one for my mom and one for my um, husband's grandmother. They both have birthdays in June. And I had made a different card for my mom, but it just wasn't it just wasn't what I wanted for her. I like flowers and birds and butterflies for my mom and for my husband's grandmother. They could probably be um, really good roommates. They are so alike, my mom and his and Nick's grandmother. But anyway, so I usually make them the same card because they have the same kind of personality. Anyway, so I want to share what I did to create this because I discovered some really cool things. First of all, my friend Robin, um, a friend, I think it's a friend of her mom's, is kind of like retiring from card making or something and uh, she shared a bunch of beautiful stamps with Robin and Robin shared some with me and um, this is one that's hers um, but she wanted me to play with it and show her via YouTube what I made. So I, I felt like playing, I just was thinking about this stamp for the last few days and I love hydrangeas and for some reason I haven't had success growing them here in Florida, but in up in the Northeast, those of you that are there right now, you get these beautiful, beautiful hydrangeas. So, what I did was I stamped the image with Memento Tuxedo Black on this Georgia Pacific paper, and I colored it with the Copics that I got from Lisa from Midnight Gardener. She sent me these three colors, and I used it to color the leaves. And, you know, I'm not an expert colorer, but I had fun doing it, and I like the way it turned out. And then I also colored in the flowers themselves. I used just the broken china. And I went in, and I, I'll show you. I'm not going to do this whole thing, because that would take forever. So, I mean, you know, on a video it would seem like forever. When I did it, it really was very fun. So what I did was, as you know, this comes with a fine tip on one side and a brush tip on the other. So I just basically, like, went in and just colored it in, right, like so, coloring. And then I went in with the fine tip and just went in and, at, and and drew in on those lines that are already these really nice quality stamps are great because you can see where you want to add your shading and you know you can just kind of go in and do that with the with the fine tip and then color over it and just gives you some depth okay so I like the way that turned out. So I'm going to be doing a second one, but not on camera. And then as you see here, there's a place where it says hydrangea, and probably the Latin name for it. <laughs> um, but I stamped a little banner, and it's just a piece of paper. In this case, this was like an ivory color. It started as an ivory color, um, but this is just the plain white scrap from the Georgia Pacific. And you can just take it and cut it, probably, I don't know what size that is. Um, I would think this is, it's a little bigger. I think it's, yeah, it's three quarters of an inch. So let's just go ahead and do that. So see, here's the inch mark right there. So I'm just going to go here because we want three quarters of an inch. And I love it. The sophisticated cartridge, Cricut cartridge, does have a little like a banner cut that you could use if you, you know, didn't feel like doing this. But it really doesn't take much to do it. And then I would probably go ahead and stamp it at this point wherever you want it. I'm going to go ahead and use the mento. Cocoa. I really like this ink because it doesn't smear. I like the archival because it's so, so very black. And I'm going to come in a little bit 
ways from here because we're going to cut that into a banner, remember. Okay, now if you want this to have, you know, just kind of a, I don't like the way that's stamped, I'm going to do the other side, do it again. And this little happy birthday came from something I got at Joann's or Michael's a very long time ago. It's just one of those clear stamps from the dollar bin. Okay. And then, oops, sorry. Alright, so I want to warm this up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, again, I'm going to take some Distress ink. If you know me at all, you know I love my Distress inks. I'm just going to warm that up a little bit. And I'm not trying to be perfect with that little banner cut. just want it to be really sweet. I'm going to use the tea dye. And, you know, something you can use if you don't have any of the foam applicators or anything, or even if you do and just want a different way to apply your color, is you can just use one of these little sponges. And that's great, too. You can do that that way. And that looks nice. I'm going to go in deep with this, because we're going to do something in a minute. My Mod Podge out because I may I've been working on a sign for my summer camp, my big little summer camp, and I um, used my Cricut for it, but I Mod Podged everything onto a foam board, and um, you know, Mod Podge is a great, great product, and so I thought let me try it using it here on this project that I'm working on and see what happens. So here's what I did. I got a little um, brush, just something. This is um, probably just a cheap brush, anything you have. A foam brush would work too, but I'd use a small one. And I'm just getting a ever so small. This is what I'm talking about, Mod Podge. And this is happens to be the gloss. And you can find it in your craft store in the glue aisle. And so what I'm doing is I'm just applying a very fine line, as if I was just inking it. And then I'm just going in and putting some glitter. And that's how I got this really fine line of glitter. And just tap the back. And this is the sparkling snow, semi-transparent glitter that I got from Sparkle and Sprinkle at the Scrapbook Expo. I love it. And I also used it on that hydrangea there. I just took little bits of little drops of glossy accent and put them in the middle of the flowers and just added that, that same glitter. Just also, and this is just a coffee filter what I'm using here. They're cheap, they're and they're um, you know disposable. I don't feel bad throwing out a coffee filter, but I still save it. <laughs> I keep one under my craft mat. Oops, and that was a lot right there, but that's okay. Just trying to make it glittery and fun. Okay. So now I'll let that dry, and what I love about it is that Mod Podge dries really fast. Okay, and so I could even do the whole, I mean, I could go around the entire thing if I wanted to. Um, and it just occurred to me, I didn't tell you, I did ink with Broken China Distress Ink. I went in with my, you know, foam applicator and just went in, but left all that white around the outside. So... Just be clear about this. I just literally just went around the whole thing, and that's basically what I got. So I got that beautiful brightness 
around the flower. So I absolutely love, love, love that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add, I'm not going to do any ribbon or anything with this. I'm going to add it to my paper layer. Now my paper was a gift from Lisa, another gift from Lisa. And I'm sorry if I haven't used, some of you, others of you have sent me um, some racks and things and I so appreciate it. And please um, know that I love everything I've gotten and I'm sorry if I haven't used like Scrap and Belly stamps. I have been wanting to use those and they're sitting right here by my table ready to be used. I just haven't had time to play as much as I usually do. I used the Follow Your Heart um, My Mind's Eye 6x6 and I think I'm really going to be hooked on these because you can put these on your Cricut mat and you can do different patterns. So see I was playing around with the sizes of these and I used my um, what do you call that? Um, sophisticated Teresa Collins Cricut cartridge and I cut these ones here at two inches and these were one and three quarter inches and it's under the border feature there's a butterfly border and if you hit the shift then you get this larger butterfly and so I cut them and so I put one pattern paper here one pattern they're all different patterns and then because they're double sided I, ha I have all these embellishments that I can use on later projects and I use butterflies a lot because I'm on a butterfly kick so, um, so yeah, so that's where that pattern paper came from. And then the base card is a, is from, um, Paper Tree Ink. And a nice sturdy base. Okay, I'm just going to center that. Okay. Nice. And then I'm going to share what I did. Okay, here's the first one that I made. I went around the edges. On this one, I used my glossy, or not my glossy accents, my quick dry adhesive, and I just went around with this nib. Okay, I'm ready to review. I am loving this. Love, love, love. If you don't put a pin in it, it does clog, and then you have to just unclog it, but the, the glue is such a fine, fine, fine line that that's what I was able to do. But we could also use our paintbrush with the Mod Podge as well technique and then I took my bling mesh and I cut a little strip of it and then you know glued it to the center I'm gonna do that last but here's how I did the detailing okay let me show you how nice this is and by the way this is my tonic glass mat I usually record over here on my purple mat but it's it's getting it's quite it gets quite messy, so I wanted room to to work. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking my, my nib, and I don't know if you can see that because it's you know it's white. I'm just going along the edges, and then I'll go down here and just sprinkle on that glitter. And that's going to dry clear. Okay, and I'm just going to do that all the way around this entire butterfly. Now today, while I'm doing this, I'll, t I'll share with you if you're interested. You still have time to do this if you're from the area and you're within... You know, if you can drive to Waterford Lakes in Orlando, it's off of the 408, off the Alafaya exit. There's a Michaels there, and I work there, and today I have a cricket class, if you want to come. It's $15, it's two hours, it starts at 10 this morning. So as soon as I'm done here, i got to go and get dressed and stuff, get, you know, take a shower and all that good stuff. So I'll be there today, from probably 9.30 till maybe 12.30. 
Okay, so we gotta let that dry, and it is quick dry adhesive, so that'll dry pretty quickly. And then what I did to the to the bling mesh, and of course I I messed this up, but because I was trying to do too much while it was wet, I took my white opal liquid pearls and I filled in the holes. You know how the um, bling mesh has those little holes in the middle? I filled them in with liquid pearls. I also did the other one I did with crystal stickles. See that? So you could do that. It's kind of cool. You could also just fill it in with say um, li liquid, I mean not liquid glass, um, glossy accents. That would work as well. Okay. So, we're going to cut this down. And I learned this little tip here from one of you that I watch you guys and somebody I watch. I don't remember your name though. Sorry. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm a name person. I always like to remember people's names. But, um,. She showed that you could just use your lighter like I just did to get rid of all those scragglies. And I'm just going to simply glue that to the middle. And see how cute that looks? I mean, just without even adding anything to the middle of those little wells there, it's just so blingy and beautiful. I'm just going to hold that with my tweezers and add a bead of this quick dry. And then I may fill it in with the perfect with the liquid pearls, but then I gotta set it aside and not mess with it. I'm not gonna do it right now because I will stick my finger in it again. So to finish up the card, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna use this one. And I think I gotta nail it. I think I'm going to pop it up. I'm just going to put it down with some ATG adhesive. And just right there. And then I'll put the butterfly about right there. What do you think? You know, anything goes because, you know, they just land and look beautiful any way they land. I'm just trying to think how I'm going to adhere it down. Like I said, I'm not going to do too much dimension because I'm mailing this. So I'm just going to add some quick dry because it dries quickly. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to let that dry. So I hope that was helpful and I hope that inspired you. And I, again, I thank you all. Um, who leave me positive comments and, and just um, love the comments and love the questions. So please, um, if you have a question, don't be afraid to ask. And um, maybe sometime we can meet at the Waterford Lakes Michaels. Thanks for watching. Bye.